There we go. Okay, starting recording. And hello, everybody. This is Jamie the D, and with me is Old Man Marsh, and this hello. is the second game of three. Um, oh. I wow. Uh, I I okay. I hope I hope that display flickering isn't showing. Yes, yes, it is. Um, <laughs> yes, that you, that's. You, you... You became a robot for me for a while. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, that is the game uh, resizing... Trying to resize both monitors, a common problem in uh, many a game. Oh. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yes, this is Grip, and uh, it's from the developer's Roll Cage. And I think you can already see what the gimmick of the game is. <laughs> You mean the same thing as Roll Cage? <laughs> the same thing as Roll Cage. This is basically Roll Cage 20, 2016. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so there are a variety of cars that unfortunately due to their nature are not terribly visually distinct from another, one another. <laughs> but we're uh, going to... Does we it have anything to do with all of the cars being basically a rectangle with gigantic wheels? Pretty much. Um, they, they do have some color differential, and of course AI players have different colors. But we're going to go with the Speedcraft, and we're going to start with a classic race uh, in the Alhatra race. Now, very important to note, that catch-up assistance is on, and destructible vehicles are off. <clears throat> it is, in fact, extremely important to note these things. <laughs> because, huh. as, we, as we carry on playing, we're going to be fucking around with those options, and showing you what happens, and showing you how this might be a bit of a balance problem that can still be fixed because it is in early access. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I I do like the menus. I like the the dark pumping beats. Um, and I'm liking the loading screen. And the loading yeah, screen is bloody good looks too. Good. <laughs> uh, the UI again is pretty much out the way. Power-ups in the bottom left, speed in the bottom right, position and lap on the top, and um, arrow keys to move. What? Shift for top okay, power-up. Uh, um, and already we're off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there is another key we might be using, and that is uh, slow down. Funnily enough, so. But I am liking the feeling of speed on this one. Oh yeah, the feeling yeah. of speed on this one is definitely there. And uh, here's the Gatling gun. Um, it's kind of useful. Uh, by the way, spacebar is brake, and tapping it just tapping it as opposed to, you know, actually running it. Hey! <laughs> Shame that didn't come off perfectly, but, you know, I was still first. Whatever. <laughs> uh, just tapping it will introduce a drift. Oh, nice. Yep. Tap it once and bam, you are drifting. <laughs> That was an EMP burst, and that can go die in a fire. So, there's a couple of things I'm no noticing are working well for this type of game. And that's uh, the racetrack's a little bit more open. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yep. Uh, the feeling of speed is absolutely wonderful. Uh, that was a mine. You may not have seen it because it was red on a uh, dark background. I have mentioned this, and to be fair, um, other people have mentioned this too, and they did take steps to fix it, i.e. those boxes and that little light pole, but 
of course, it's still the same kind of value red on dark blue areas. Now, as I said, the EMP can die in a fire because it does a lot of things, and that beeping is bad. We're in first place. It's very bad. Ah, what could happen? What could happen? Could it be, uh... Ah, are, are we gonna see some Mario Karting? <laughs> oh, yes. Because, <laughs> you guessed correctly, that missile is... acts exactly like a blue shell. <laughs> it will go down the track until it finds first place. And it will home in on them unerringly. <laughs> By the way, there's another thing it does, which is even worse. So, you know I had those backwards-facing shields? Yeah. Does it go through? Does it destroy them, or go through, or...? No, um, that EMP burst wasn't a racer behind me. That was the missile preparing itself to hit. <laughs> That's right, it's a blue shell that gets rid of your star. What? See? Why? Why would... Why would you make your blue shell do that? I don't know! <laughs> All I know is... I am now in first place, and I do not actually expect to keep it because of not only the fact that catch-up assistance affects everybody, including you, but also because when you're in first place, every fucker has a blue shell! <laughs> oh god, here it comes! What? One thing I think is important if you're gonna have a blue shell in a, a in a racing game is have a defense. Yeah, uh, make it so there's places you can outmaneuver it. Or see, see. A, or make it make it not destroy your fucking star. It didn't even destroy it. It briefly turned it off just before it hit. Normal missiles will destroy it in one blow. I would be okay with that, because, you know, then I can blame it on AI missile spam. <laughs> yeah. And, here's another thing about blue shells. They should not be this frequent. <laughs> Funnily enough, there was a patch recently trying to fix the, uh, the weapon balance. This is starting to... A bit of a cluster I mean, wow. I like this game. Really, don't yeah. get me wrong. I like this game. By the way, I came second. Um, <laughs> and yes, this game will destroy friendships because look at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that that was one thing I liked. Did you see that little message at the bottom of the screen? <laughs> Game over. Insert coin to continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I know. So, um, now in a second, I am going to turn off a thing. I'm not going to... Yep, I'm going to turn catch-up on, off, because, uh, as I said, catch-up affects everybody. Uh, one thing that could be nice is to have a variable uh, setting of catch-up assistance. Cause... That, would, that would be a possibility, yes. Um, and I'm yeah. sure when the developers see that, they will take that into consideration because the fact that they have changed the weapon balance um, somewhat indicates that they are listening and they are obviously people who know their stuff especially considering the developer of this game 
uh, the head developer is the original developer of Roll Cage. <laughs> so, you know, they again, they know their games. Now, welcome yeah. to my favorite racing stage. I'm going <laughs> to say, interestingly, both Wipeout and Roll Cage was a PlayStation 1 game. Yeah. <laughs> so, that era of racing is coming back. Oh, God, yeah. Funnily enough, that's exactly what a friend said yesterday. Thank God, all these P all these PS era games are coming back. Look at that! Yeah. That was bloody sweet! I'm... This tunnel is great. <laughs> By the way, uh, the Gatling guns are deliberately aiming um, pretty low and short. Because even though they can attack other races, that's not their main functionality. <laughs> no, their main functionality is actually getting rid of mines. That's, I think, even considered. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going very fast. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Impression it's of speed. Going... This game has got it. <laughs> oh. Thank God I'm not first. <laughs> these deep steps are really getting getting it. Uh, going on walls and ceilings on tunnels. Mm, that's perfect. Yeah. And different terrains have different grips. It's subtle, but it is there. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, you poor bastard. And yet you're still going on. Good on you. <clears throat> so, with no catch-up, that guy is pretty far ahead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. And he's probably going to get a little further ahead. Thanks to that asshole! What what happened to all the blue shell missiles? Uh, are they reserving that for the player? Hmm? That, are they reserving the blue shell missiles? To, to nope, the nope, missiles? there's one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, oh, I'm... oh I now that was cunning. Point. That was cunning, AI player. <laughs> he put a mine literally just before the weapon. So, I just got past the part where you completely screwed up in a tunnel. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't just completely screw up. I got hit by a missile, and, and then the guy laid a mine right in front of me. Okay, where well, you got completely screwed up in a tunnel. Turned around. Oh yeah, getting turned around in these tunnels is really goddamn easy. <laughs> but I still love this track because goddamn the it's shit really you fun. can do here. It, it looks really fun, which yeah. is wow. <laughs> it's not often you see that stuff like this in modern racing games. I know. <laughs> So, you know, th this is why I by no means feel bad about, you know, A, not racing to the best of my ability, <laughs> and B, <laughs> all the other stuff. Now, it should be noted there are tools to help, and they recently reintroduced one of them. Uh, originally, it was patched out. And then they patched it back in because people wanted to see it. Ready? We'll wait yep. until I get into a situation and then I'll hit the key. By the way, uh, letting go allows for air control rolling. Ah, oh, that missile kind of bummed out. Okay, ready? Slow mo! <laughs> Oh, that's, that's really good. Yeah. For some 
as long as it's uh, yeah, as long as it's kind of uh, just uh, I'm losing words here. <laughs> not too much of it. <laughs> no, no well, I mean it's not too egregious. Uh, but as you can see, with catcher off, um, it became really hard. <laughs> It not, o it not only yeah, became yeah. really hard, but look at those times. Now before, those times were a lot tighter, but the rubber banding works for everybody. So, I've had situations where I've been waiting for a good 15 seconds <laughs> for all those currently counting down DNFs. <laughs> <laughs> to turn into numbers. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. The guy in last place got, got really screwed over. So now we're going to turn on destruction. Oh, boy. boy. I've you, you've said things about <laughs> I've said things about this, and I will say them again. There are balance problems with the aggressiveness. <laughs> Watch the balance problems with the aggressiveness. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is going to turn into a battlefield, isn't it? No. No, it isn't. <laughs> now, even though this track is uh, one of the ones currently a whip, I like it. I mean, first off, oh, right. the scale of this place. This is great. How, how does this ha uh, game handle destruction of vehicles? Is it race over for those? Or? Yes. Yes, it oh, is race over. Yeah, that's a that's a problem in that game. We we've seen how many how many weapons actually hit their mark. Yeah, oh. and of course, with no catch up, uh, that either means I'm going to be going through the pack multiple times, or. I'm going to be in first place for the majority of the race. <laughs> and of course, we all know what being in first place means. Well, with destructible vehicles, <laughs> that means race over. Yes, it does. <laughs> and hopefully, I should be able to demonstrate that. Also, look at that sick jump. So, now I'm in front of somebody. Okay, now I was in front of somebody. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. <laughs> I'm having the worst luck. Yeah, there we, there we go. There's a fucking... There's a blue shell off on a mission. <laughs> and there's another one. Uh, well, it's, it will be a race for not first place until the last part of the last lap. Looking like it! <laughs> oh no! I'm having the worst day! <laughs> oh hey, someone I can overtake! Oh shit, wait, no, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, my ineptitude is. Oh no! Just. You know what? Restart the race. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up so badly. <laughs> I, had I had fun fucking up badly because, let's face it, this is a game where, you know, careening all over the place is part of the design, but. <laughs> Okay, again, and this time with feeling. 
and possibly quick death instead of what happened. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry, people watching that on YouTube. I am actually no, I'm not. I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> Come on, Yami, you've got to read the road signs. <laughs> What road signs? <laughs> now, nah, to be fair, it actually does signpost really well. Right, okay, let, let's you take know, this uh, path because it actually is a shortcut. The, the road signs where it says uh, maximum 50 miles per hour. Bullshit! <laughs> Bullshit! Look at that speedometer down there! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, kilometers per hour. <laughs> 50! 50, he says! <laughs> okay, now I'm in first place. Now, due to catch up, this means that providing oh. I don't fuck up too bad. Oh, 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 hello, I hear it! Re re rest in peace, Jamie. <laughs> No, 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 not yet. Not yet, but... Right, that one thankfully didn't hit. But of course, there's another beeping! <laughs> How often are you... How often are they gonna get that missile? 40% damage from one missile. Oh boy. And I'm back in fifth place, and it's lap two out of four. <laughs> Imagine setting the lap count to you. Mines are 30% damage. Now, uh, this might be based on the strength of the vehicle. But yeah, uh, it's halfway through and I'm 70% dead. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna need to find this a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Uh, uh, and despite all this, it, it still looks really fun. A full Gatling burst, by the way, uh, does I think about forty or fifty percent. Uh, right. Is there a way to heal? Nope. <laughs> oh, boy. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, you may have noticed that, uh, we've gone Run. from ten to eight races. <laughs> uh, uh, one mine, you're screwed. <laughs> one mine and I'm screwed. But on the upside, I'm back in seventh, thanks to no catch-up. <laughs> and I've got a blue shell of my own. Ah, destroy them. Destroy them. Oh. So far, not hearing any beeping. This is a good sign. Oh, wait, no, there we go, there we go, there was a beeping. Shields are gone. <laughs> Still in sixth place. <laughs> And I've, and this is literally the first time an EMP has dropped for me. And I want to actually keep that as a test. Because I want to see if the EMP is actually a defense against, well, murder missile. You know, that, that thing what keeps murdering me. <laughs> oh, what thing, Jamie? <laughs> 
the blue shell oh. missile. <laughs> And no, I'm not going to stop calling it the Blue Shell Missile, because that's exactly what it fucking is. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That was somebody else firing off the EMP burst. That's fine, that's fine. So, do you think the EMP will actually save you from... Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get the chance to test. Sorry, <clears throat> I need to leave myself up. Oh, hey! I actually killed somebody. No, it looks like uh, I'm gonna finish fourth. But, uh, hey! This will actually be the first time I have ever finished a race with destruction turned on. Sorry about that. That's okay. Uh, looks like you're at least gonna finish, so... Yeah, like I said, literally the first time. <laughs> that should tell you everything you need to know about destruction mode. However, there's one thing we haven't done yet. Oh, what could this be? <laughs> well, we haven't shown off the other game modes, but we're not really going to be doing that. <clears throat> there are death matches, in which, well, you murder people. Arenas, um, time trials, races. There are lots of features, and there's already four or five different tracks. But uh, we're going to do one last thing to demonstrate this balance problem. Catch up assistance on in a largely open speed track. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> so now, the pack is gonna be pretty tight. And weapons do damage. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeesh. Notice so. how we're not really winning in the speed stake. Well, we're with. Oh wait, no, no. Here we go. You. Ah uh, no. I, I don't think you want to be winning in this, this mode. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, oh, as it turns out, the EMP can reach right across the arena in this map. <laughs> oh, have a blue shell missile, you bastards. This is for all those times. Have another one, because I literally just picked it up. <laughs> and because I want to get in first, have some EMP as well. <laughs> This game. <laughs> this game. Design, visuals wise, music wise, absolutely love it. And there we go, there we go, there we go. 56% damage. <laughs> now we, we are on lap three of four already because this is a wonderful, oh, wonderful, wonderful short track with lots of acrobatics, lots of EMPs, and oh my god, so many mines. By the way, somebody's... Yeah, there we go. We got Gatling to death. Each shot does 4% damage. Wait, each shot? Yeah, yeah, I got cherry tapped. <laughs> I don't think that's a cherry tap, Jake. <laughs> it is compared to the fucking missile. <laughs> Four percent per 
bullet that hit. Uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, this is, <laughs> this is Grid, uh, a game with many, many good elements, but for the love of <laughs> God, leave <laughs> these two <laughs> as they are. And Debs. <laughs> Please give us repairs and more defense against the nasty blue shell missile, please. And, may and maybe make the missile a little bit more rare. <laughs> <laughs> that would be swell, you know. <laughs> Just anyway, we'll be back for the final part of the stream. Ballistic NG. See you soon.